Hey guys, what's up? We're in a different location. Really, we're in the same location, just a different angle. And I just hung up this really cool Misfits flag poster that my boyfriend got me. I should have ironed it before I hung it up, but what is, whatever. As you can see from the title, this is a 10 dumb facts about me. I thought it would be cool to do like a get to know me video. Um, I was going to do like the 50 facts about me, but it's like really... Uh, I don't even know 50 facts about me, you know? So I just thought of some stuff that is like really weird, you know, I'm, I'm weird, so I figured you might like to know my weirdness so we can be weird together. So yeah, <laughs> uh, I have a list and I checked it twice and I forgot to write number one so I wrote it with eyebrow pencil. <laughs> All right. The first dumb fact about me, number 10, is I have really short fingers. Like, they're so short. The only gloves that will fit me are the little knitted gloves that you can get every Christmas where you get the scarf and the, the everything together for 10 bucks. And I think you can buy them for 5 bucks and I have so many of them. It's because they don't fit me. <sighs> no other gloves fit me. I hate it. I hate having short fingers. Like... I don't even have pretty fingernails, so to make them longer, it's so unfair. It's so unfair. It's like, why can't I at least have good fingernails to where I can just pretend to have, you know, longer fingers? No, not going to happen. Not going to happen. Um, <laughs> number nine. Nine is uh, really dumb and really weird. Um, I don't like it when somebody spends the night with me or at my place and we sleep in the same bed together, you know, I mean, people do that. And um, they sleep with their face in mine, like we're face to face. I'm always freaked out that they're gonna steal my breath. <laughs> it's just, and of course you have like, you know, people that have bad breath, but the majority is like, I'm always scared that they're gonna steal my breath and I'm gonna suffocate in my sleep. <laughs> I know, it's so weird. Um, number eight is I love soggy food and I know the majority of people love crisp food like when it comes to like fries man I love like uh, Whataburger and McDonald's you know the soggy fries I love that it's everything one of my favorite things um, a German dish is um, like uh, Jäger schnitzel or, or the um, Rahmschnitzel, which is basically um, Wiener Schnitzel. Um, you take like a, a boneless pork chop and you bread it and then you fry it and then you take a gravy and it's it's kind of, it has um, a cream base. It has a, um, a cream base so it's like it's brown gravy but it's a little lighter and then what I like to do is make that with fries and then let the fries soak up all the gravy. Oh, that's so good. Like another one of my favorites which is kind of super soggy is um, like boiled potatoes and spinach like kind of smash those together. Oh my god I love soggy food. Yeah and soggy cake man. I love cake. Love cake. Love cake. I got lashes, lashes. Wee! Okay, number seven. And I know I haven't done this on this channel <laughs> because I'm still, I'm, I haven't made up my mind if I want to be a family friendly channel because I do a lot of fairy stuff and I know that more kids are drawn to the fairy stuff, but no, that I do not dress up as a fairy for kids. I dress up as a fairy for me. I, I I love dressing up as a fairy. It's just, it's very, you know, it's it's living the dream. <laughs> but number seven. Oh, and that's that's my lucky number, number seven. Well, no, it was my lucky number until my mom passed away on April 7. That's, I kind of, that's not, that's when seven kind of, not my lucky. That was another weird fact about me. But, you know, um, number seven is I curse a lot. I mean a lot, and I know it's like I'll, I'll be on Facebook and I'll, I'll I'll post like my favorite my favorite curse word is definitely the F word, and I've gotten in trouble. My family's like, that's not how you talk, and it's 
it's uh it's not very cool to talk like that and blah 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 my dad is kind of like yeah I understand what they're saying but I understand what you're saying too it's easier to say just F it rather than well I had a really bad day and this is what happened blah 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 just F it so um I curse a lot <laughs> let me know let me know if you want me to curse on this channel I mean you know <laughs> I, I love cursing and really if you want to take it there our president that we have currently said grab him by the pussy and he didn't mean the, the, the collar of a kitty cat and he also called a different country a shithole so it's like it, is, is it really that bad to use the F word anymore? I mean come on. Okay, number six. This is something I've been dealing with since I was like a, a kid. When everybody loves it, I will probably hate it. And it's just, I think it's its kind of the rebel in me. Like for the longest time, I could not stand the Rolling Stones. Because everybody loved the Rolling Stones. Like even people that do not like rock music just love the Stones. So I absolutely hate it. Like I couldn't stand any of their songs. And as I got older, I started listening to them again. It's like, man. Stones are awesome! <laughs> it's like, why was that so stupid not like the Stones just because everybody loved them, you know? It's like, and my favorite, my favorite Stones is definitely Miss You and Shattered and uh, 17th Breakdown. Like, I like the early Stones. Like, they're really good. Oh, they're good. That's kind of how I like the early Misfits, you know? TV casualty, TV casualty, attitude, you got some fucking attitude. I'm sorry. <laughs> and how do you like my him being I'm, I'm totally hemmed out today. <sighs> that, we're gonna, we're gonna get that in, to, to that, in, 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 to that in a minute. To that in a minute, yeah, to that. Um, number five. Number five is I had to walk uphill both ways. Yeah, I had to walk down a hill and up a hill to get to school. And coming home, I had to walk down a hill and up a hill to get home. Um, the town I grew up in is called Siegelbach. It is spelled S-I-E-G-E-L-B-A-C-H. And that town, I, I, I've looked at Google Maps and it looked like they kind of extended it a little bit. Like, there was this little slant from where I live. Like, like you can't call it a hill, you know, it was just, but it, it wasn't straight. Like, it had a little bit of a hill. Like, I like to like get in my roller place, like roll down the little hill, a little slant. slant. And um, that was like all acres. Like, you could like stand there and you could see the the autobahn like way down and um, all of that is now apparently like apartments and houses and like a community but when I was growing up it was all acre fields. Now what I could have done so walking down a hill and up a hill I could have walked through those acre fields and behind everybody's houses and past the cemetery or basically through the cemetery and I would have still had to walk up a hill to get to school so I just prefer to walk down a hill and up a hill and I had to do it in snow I did have shoes though so I can't really say that but I can say that I walked up a hill both ways and the reason why is um, the, the town that I grew up in, it, it kind of looks like a crater in it, you know? It's just kind of like a, like you got everything here and you got it down here and everything's like, like a, it's like a bowl, like a fish bowl, trapped in a fish bowl. Yeah. I freaking hated it. <laughs> like, I seriously, it's like, I hate that little town, like, all the gossip, like, I was so ready. When we finally moved to, into the suburbia area, Oh, it was so good. I loved it. I loved I love living in suburbia, which also is a cool song from Screeching Weasel, 
when I have some of my punk days. Yeah, so hey, Suburbia. Look it up, it's a fun song. I can't remember the lyrics, but I remember that I love it. <laughs> okay, number four, dumb fact about me. And this is something <laughs> that I just recently <laughs> discovered. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Okay. <laughs> I remember his old co-worker of mine was all like, wait, you know like Five Finger Death Punch? I was like, nah, I don't really care for metal. And he's all like, wait, you don't like metal? I thought you were a metal head. I'm like, oh no, no, not really, no. No, I like rock, I like god, but I don't like metal. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure my boyfriend has brought it up before, but I just kind of forgot. And it's just kind of, I've rediscovered it again. And it's like, it's kind of, it's like, I remember he telling me and I was like, no, it's not true. And then I looked it up the other day and to my surprise, I am a metalhead. Like Merlin Manson, Korn, Linkin Park, like they are metal or new metal. Like I didn't know that. Or in like ACDC, they claim as metal. And to me, ACDC is just, you know, classic hard rock. You know, I mean, kind of like, like Led Zeppelin would be classic rock and ACDC would be like classic hard rock. So it's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm metal. And like the hardest I listen to, like at this moment, would be Bullet For My Valentine. And some of their songs are still a little too trashy for me. I mean, not like trashy, but like trashy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But I'm starting to get into a lot more metal songs now that I fully embraced it. Um, there's this band called Dead D E D. I, I guess you, I guess you call them Dead, not or maybe D E D. I don't know. I'm starting to look into them, but there's one song I'm really digging. So yeah. Um, let's see, Doo -doo 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 -doo. number three. You see, this this is my German three. Not, not, not American three, German three. This is, oh, four. Oh my God. Three. Did I do four before? Oh my God. I can't remember. Four before. Anyway, three. Uh, la, 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 where'd it go? I cry when I am mad and it drives me crazy. It drives me so crazy because <laughs> people always think I cry because I'm sensitive and all that stuff, but really <laughs> what they don't understand is like they piss me off so much that like I just want to like scream bloody murder. I want to like take a knife and cut them from eyeball to asshole. <laughs> It's like, I get so mad. And it's like, you know you can't do anything. So it's just like all of this, all of this anger just kind of like builds up and just shoots out of your eye. And I also I get really red faced when I'm angry too. It's like, I'm kind of like Tinkerbell in that, that scenario. So <laughs> I cry when I'm mad and it, it really, it almost makes me mad that I cry when I get mad because I hate it when like, I can feel the tears coming at work when somebody pisses me off at work. You know, what I really, really hate at work, which <sighs> makes me be like, you know, I have to, I have to be like, you know, push through it um, inconsistently. It's like, that's one of the things that I hate so much. It's like when you, ah! Hey! Did you hear that? That was the cats. Um, when somebody tells you, it's like, oh, hey, um, for this here, I need you to do this and this and this. It's like, okay. And then, you know, you finally come across something like that and you ask somebody else, like, hey, um, so-and-so told me that I need to do this and this and this. Um, is, is that, am I understanding this correctly? And then they're like, what? No. Or if you can't remember who told you because you work with so many people and, you know, they're, they're making it sound like... You made the stuff up, and it's like, why would I make this stuff up? You know, that's something that drives me crazy. Uh, dumb fact number two. This one really is not a dumb fact. I mean, maybe it is. I don't know. You be the judge of it. <laughs> don't judge me. Um, I would love to be covered in tattoos to a certain degree, 
but I'm not because I don't have the body for it and I think that's where the dumbness comes in it's like if I would just like like I'm trying to eat right and I'm kind of I'm like 98% vegetarian because I live by myself and I don't really buy meat that much anymore like the only meat I buy really is like lunch meat and hot dogs and I haven't done that in a while I actually just discovered veggie dogs and they're not that bad so um yeah um and I've been eating more spinach, you know, fresh spinach and all that good stuff. Just my thing is exercise. <sighs> I hate exercise. I really, really do. I really do. And you know, I think the only way I was able to stay kind of skinny, like I wasn't really ever skinny. I was a size 13 when I was 13. <laughs> but um, I, you know, I had to walk up a hill and down a hill and up a hill again you know and then when I when I we moved into into the suburbs I had to walk to the bus station and then walk to school and then walk to the train station and walk up this another enormous hill to get to my other school so I did a lot of walking in Germany you know and I really don't mind um, over here in America is <laughs> I do mind like a, there's nobody else walking, so you look like um, you look like a creep. You look like a crazy person if you are walking somewhere, and everything is so stretched apart. Like you know, it's like I I don't I don't understand. You know, in Germany you can just park your car and you can just go to. It's kind of like the boardwalks. Like I don't know where all there is boardwalks. I know there's one tree point. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more. So you know, you park your car somewhere and you just go walking around shopping, you know, grocery shopping and go and get something to eat and go and see the doctor and then you get in your car and you drive home. <laughs> so I'm getting off topic here. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe eating less meat will help me and actually I'm standing in front of a elliptical walker which I'm trying to incorporate like at least 10 minutes every day so we'll see how that goes. And with my What's it called? Magic bullet? I've been doing smoothies, so we'll see. Maybe I will get more tattoos. Actually, I have two tattoos right now that I... Well, actually three. <laughs> um, one I want to get is a Shakespeare tattoo on, on my arm, which that's probably going to be the first one I get after I'm done with all the house renovations. If you didn't know, um, my basement flooded, which led to all kinds of stuff. My my fridge and freezer broke, I had to get that fixed, um, my kitchen light went out, um, I got that fixed, that was only bulbs that was needed, but um, my basement door broke, that hopefully is something I can conquer this weekend by myself or with the help of my dad, and um, yeah, get that done, I need a new washer and dryer, and all that good stuff, and oh yeah, the, the lights and fan next door doesn't work either, so oh, I don't even I don't even want to go into that. But anyway, I want um, from Shakespeare. I want right here. I want um, Lord, what fools? Oh no, I'm sorry. Lord, what fools these mortals be? That was said by Puck or Robin Goodfellow, whichever way you want to call him from Midsummer's Night Stream is. Act 3, scene 2, between lines 110 115, if I remember correctly. I love Shakespeare. <laughs> and then another one is, it's kind of going to be a 666 the sign. <sighs> I'm, I'm not a Satanist, and I'm probably, um, if I do go through with it, I'm going to make a whole video on that. Um, but it's mainly because of the lyrics from Typo Negative from um, Black Number One. Um, Little Miss Carol is um, on her milk white neck, the devil's mark. And that line has always stood out to me. So I kind of, or like, uh, you know, how in SLC Punk uh, he has 666 tatted on his butt cheeks. That's always something that tickled me to no end. And I still haven't, I still haven't managed to bring up the guts to bring it up to my dad because I want to let him know before I actually do it, you know, because my dad is a Christian, but I am not. So I need to bring that up to him and be like, hey, you know, I don't believe in heaven and hell. I don't really. 
really believe in the devil or Jesus. So, you know, I'm getting this. So please don't get mad. <laughs> yes. Those are... Oh, and the third one is a hundred grand, which I want here, but... I know last year in November I was at the last hymn concert in Dallas. That's where I got the beanie and I got the shirt. Um, him is my favorite band and I've been a fan. Ow. <laughs> I scared myself. <laughs> um, I've been a fan of him since 2000. So I have been a fan of him for 17 years because, I mean, the band, their last, last show was New Year's Eve. You know, so I've been a fan of them since 2000. That's 17 years. And he started in 1991. So, wow. That was a long freaking time. But yeah, I, I just, I can't make up my mind. Like, how do I want it? Like, I know I want it right here because that's like the only good spot I have for it. Like, I really don't want tattoos up here. I, I've never, I've never enjoyed that on women. Unless it's like a full sleeve. I mean, like a a half sleeve or a quarter, but just having like just like one tattoo right here is just for me, in my opinion, I don't like that on women, you know, so and I have a fat arm, so I think it would just draw more attention to my fat arm rather than the tattoo, but I don't know if I want like black outlines or a pink hardogram or like um uh, black outlines and dripping blood or dripping watercolor or maybe some crystals. Oh, <clears throat> oh, I forgot. I was gonna burp in this video. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I have massive acid reflux. Like, I can burp on command. Yeah. Sometimes I burp so much I almost throw up, which is not fun. But yeah, um, last one. Last one is, okay, like everybody knows, I love fairies. I'm kind of like, you know, sometimes I joke around and say, I am a fairy. You know, it's like, I, 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 I honestly, I believe fairies are real. Like, you know, when you can't find stuff in your house and you look 20 times in the same spot and all of a sudden it's there. Like, that's the fairies. Like, you pissed off the fairies. <laughs> it kind of almost makes you think, like, all the stuff happening with the house, like, fairies, what did I do to y'all? Didn't I not show you enough love? Do I need to put out some milk and honey? I don't know. But, yeah, um, I used to love angels. Like, that was my whole thing. <sighs> like, I was, I was trying so hard to make my nickname Angel Princess, but that never happened. But now, <laughs> now I am the fairy queen. <laughs> and yeah, it was like people at work call me Pixie Punk and they call me Pixie and Faye and all that good stuff. So that kind of stuck. And um, I think the reason why I did start liking fairies is because I saw like this figurine and it just, it looked very from the, I don't know how to say it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what the term terminology is for that. The way it's made up, maybe it reminded me of an angel. Like you know, it just it was a very more thicker figure, and the wings were like they they were kind of heavy and droopy. Like they were thick wings, and she had a thick body, which reminded me of fairies. But I mean, um, angels and uh, she um. She has like a pink dress. Actually, I still have it and maybe one of these days I'll do like a fairy figurine collection because I have so many. They're just, I really don't like how I have them set up. I, I would love to have them spread all over my house, but I have crazy cats that would knock them over because they've already knocked over so many and broke so many and I glue them together and you know, there's just some where I'm like, I really... I really don't want, and I, I also, I don't want to put them, like, in, like, a, a, a display case, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, I think that is a really dumb fact. Is like, I used to love angels instead of fairies. So, there you go. You got ten and a few extra stupid facts about me. So, I hope you feel like you know me a lot better. And, you know what? I kind of like standing up. 
I like I don't like videos standing up. I feel I have more energy, and you know, uh, I can I can hide my double chin a lot more. <laughs> Because that's the main reason, the main issue is double chin, but yeah, um, I feel like I have more energy and all that good stuff, and I feel like I'm more focused into the camera, so I might just have to do more videos standing up. What do you think? Okay, so, I want one dumb fact about y'all, <laughs> y'all, so um, yeah, let me know, and let me know what you think of this video, should I make more videos standing up? You know, do you want more st stupid stuff like that? Because I'm totally down for it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you go. And before I forget, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Love you guys.